Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this video is continuation of my previous video tutorial there we have learned uh, how to write uh, 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 property editors uh, uh, for any specific data type uh, uh, while uh, Spring provides the data binding in a Spring framework right. So as I said Spring provides you uh, out of box classes to perform data binding in different way right for different uh, input like you can see the list is available on the uh, spring official website so in earlier uh, earlier video tutorial i have shown you how to work with the custom data editor but if you are working with the, some other data type like file editor is uh, basically capa capable of resolving st a string to file object similarly uh, if you have a number data type then of course you can write a, uh, you can perform the uh, data binding in different format for this number type but uh, if you have a certain requirement and uh, that does not fulfill by these uh, property editors classes then uh, spring formworks provides you a facility to you create your own uh, property editor classes right so in this video tutorial just i will continue with the previous example only so i had created a previous example uh, over here like a spring mbc uh, init binder web app so i have created another project with the same file and here i'm going to try i'm trying to show you i will try to show you how to write our own custom editor class so let's create a so first of all you need to create your own class which will perform the custom editor right so here i'm going to write a student name custom editor so and package i'm going to specify com dot info dot custom editor Let's create this class and this class must extends a property editor support class. Property editor support class. And here we need to write the uh, few methods as per our requirement. So here first of all I'm going to uh, overwrite like set as text and this method basically here we are going to write a custom editor class for a student name so let's say make this variable name as a student name and here i'm going to take a very small use case very simple use case so whatever the user name is coming from the view that i want to convert into the capital letter that's the use case i'm going to uh, take over here but in real scenario you may have a some uh, once you get the some fields from the views then you may have some uh, business logics to be performed so those kind of complex logic you can write over here so here i'm going to check a student name not null and uh, i would say a student name shouldn't be empty then i'm going to, I'm going to call uh, I'm going to convert just I'm going to call a set value method on it and here I'm going to con convert this name into capital letter so in a string class you have a to uppercase method which will convert this student name into uppercase and once you create this uh, custom editor class then you will have to register this custom editor class in this method which we had created in earlier video tutorial so here we had registered for the uh, data editor class right so custom data editor already exists in the uh, that is a, that is the existing class in the spring framework and there are more there are many more existing classes but here we have a we have created our own custom editor so let's register this uh, custom class as well so we will have to register it 
so I'm going to use this method so here our data type for estimate name is uh, a string then I'm going to specify string field name I'm going to specify a student name and here you will have to pass the object of your custom property editor object so here is student we have a class is called a student sorry, a student name custom editor so this class will have to pass it over here that's it and let's run this project and see if this works fine or not So here a registration form got displayed and here I am going to specify name as Sean Murphy, uh, gender as male, just I am selecting Hibernate and Spring and uh, just specify some contact number and date we need to specify uh, in the format like 2017, date is I mean month is June and date is let's say today's date 25 and if you submit this form then see name is converted into capital letter so i just now we have created a student name custom editor that is working perfectly fine right and apart from that if you look into this uh, web data binder then you can do many more things using this object so here if you uh, here we have a lot of theater method and one of the method uh, which I would like to talk over here set disallowed disallowed fields and this takes the where arg and arg argument this is just like a, uh, a string of array right so here you can pass the uh, fields uh, with the comma separated or you can pass the string array and you don't want in some fields if you don't want uh, to be uh, binded right if some uh, student class is having a lot of fields right if you don't want the data binding for the specific property or some of the property then those property you can list out list out here so suppose I don't want the I don't want data binding to be performed for the uh, phone right so just I'm specifying over here if you want the some more fields listed out here then comma separate you can pass or you can pass the string array so after doing this if I run this project and uh, now data binding will not be performed for the phone field So let's say name is John Mail. Let's select this two. Uh, let's specify some phone number. Uh, let's uh, give a date. Today's date, 2017, June 25. And if I click over here, so date is not displayed over here because uh, here, if you look into this controller class then i have written binder dot set this allowed fields i have listed phone so data binding will not be performed for the uh, phone field and that's the reason we are not getting phone over here if you go to the back and again you specify john select uh, gender as a male and select this to as a technology and city keep it as pune and you can specify some phone number and here if you write the even if you, you specify any character doesn't matter right because this field is not going to be part of the data binding so if you click over here so there is you will not get any kind of error so I don't uh, I don't know how you are going to use it but this facility is going to provided by the spring framework so is some of the scenario uh, some if, if you work on the any development project and uh, 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 you have designed your uh, views like this and a cross-pointed field you have declared on the uh, 
model class and you are not sure very much how this field is going to be work in the future but uh, but uh, still you want to keep these things on your project then for time being you, if you don't want to uh, i mean forward these fields to the uh, i mean next processing logic then you can disable like this in your uh, i mean uh, in your method where you have created a method with init binder and you can disallow them and once you are very much sure this is going to be huge then you can comment this part or you can remove this part then this will uh, data binding uh, after onwards data binding will be performed for that field so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys so i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code i am going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description if you have any query or question then please do post below to the video and thanks for watching this video and see you next video truly.